think is the least understood part of Microsoft's view of the future, right? E.g., like there's, there, it's kind of one of the questions that uh, Peter Thiel, a friend of mine, you bet, um, likes to ask his interviewers is the thing they believe that no one else believes. And this is essentially a version of that kind of contrarian question, which is, what do you think that is the, the thing that, like people know how strong it is, set of different products, but what's the part of the vision that pe is the least understood that you think that people should go, here's how I, you know, this is what I learned about the future from talking to the CEO of Microsoft. I won't try to boil the ocean. Mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll pick one technology area that we've invested more in than everybody, but maybe one other company on the planet, and I think a lot of people just aren't investing much in, and that's this theme of, of quote, machine learning, unquote. Whether it's what we've done in Bing, which is the engine on which we have learned and the engine that we are currently monetizing, uh, the work we do in our research team, it's a huge, let, let me just take one example. I was down in Vegas uh, on business about a year and a half ago and met with the chief information officer, chief marketing officer, of one of the uh, casino chains. You wouldn't think this is a machine learning environment, not necessarily, but they, they described their problem. It's not getting people to come back to Vegas, it's to spend all their money, plus 20% in their establishments, not their competition. And they wanna literally be tracking you with your card. They want to follow you. They want to pattern match to you. And they want to real time suggest to you, you want to try this table. You're going to want to try this machine. You're going to want to buy tickets to this show. Because they can't afford to have you walking around Vegas not in their establishments effectively. It's a machine learning problem. It's a, just like search engines do in deciding when to serve up advertising. And I can go through business by business. I can go through technology product by technology product. The advantages of using these kind of machine learning techniques, I think, are huge. We've made a tremendous investment, something well noted on Wall Street. They say, hey, you know, you haven't made any money in this big thing. And I say, wow, am I glad we've made that investment. And it's not an easy investment to make. It's not easy to make in terms of talent. It's not easy to make in terms of infrastructure. You know, there are big data companies coming on, but you kind of have a bootstrap problem. You don't have big data until you have it. And, you know, that, that sounds kind of silly, but indexing the web is kind of the biggest big data problem, or mm. mapping the earth is the biggest big data problem, or mapping language and the way people use it to co command and control systems. These are big data slash machine learning, and we've made a big investment, and it's, it's one I'm probably far more excited about than, than, let me say, our kind of people would think, mm -hmm. typically. Yeah, awesome. Well, uh, you're enormously busy. Uh, I want to, uh, I think we should extend you a hand for in your.